Mesmer in here at Studio Mez. Let's take a look at this veil combination we did recently in class. It has a body lock. You know this move? It starts at the bottom with a hip lift, and then the rib cage drops and lifts. And we'll connect it to the alternate side by doing a horizontal veil sweep. So we're going to step on the left, and the left hand is going to go over this right shoulder, and we'll bring the foot closed. You notice the ball is down, the heel is up, the legs are looking great. There's a little curve in the elbow, the wrist is flexed, and the knee that has your weight on that leg is bent. Why? So that you can lift and drop and lift. The right arm is sweeping across when it makes a half circle. The left hand leaves the shoulder. The right foot takes the step to the alternate side. Right hand gets on top, slides up to that left shoulder. The left arm sweeps out to the left. Flex the wrist, bring that left foot in, lift the heel. Bend the weight bearing right knee. Time for the body lock. Lift. It is a shift to telly. So we could work with this rhythm and do the body lock. We could sweep to the other shoulder, step left, close, body lock. We could sweep the right arm, step right, close, body lock. One, five, six, seven. One, then two, then three. Here's four, five, six, seven. Step flat onto a bent knee. One, then two, then three, close four. You can take a big step. Or just stay in place. You can travel to the front. You can travel to the back. One, then two, step forward, body lock, lift, drop. One, then two, step back, close, lift, drop, lift. One, then two, then three. One, then two, then three, half turn. One, then two, then three, profile. One, then two, then three, half turn. One, then two, then three, half turn, body wave. Woo. Smoothing it out. One, then two, then three, step forward, body lock. One, then two, then three, step forward, body lock. Vertically over to the other side, body lock. So instead of horizontal, that big sweep is going up and over to the other side, close. So yes, I threw in a body wave. You could put any move with this veil combination and it would still look good. When we change from horizontal to vertical, think upward. And then make sure you drop this other alternate hand down and out of the way so you can clear the way for the other shoulder. Then, of course, we're stepping to get to the alternate side and closing with our present move now is body lock. So for this vertical variation, we're coming up and over and around and taking the step a little sooner than that and then our body lock. So the count would be like this. Five, six, seven. One, then two, then three, step close, lift, drop, lift. Up and over and around to the shoulder, lift, drop, lift. One, then two, then three, close four. One, then two, then three, close four. One. 
One. Lift, drop, lift. So let me ask you, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? Did you ring the bell? You know, it makes me want to fly my veils. Just subscribe and hit that bell. 